Hello, good morning to everyone. Myself, Dr. Mahadev Unde, Professor in Electrical Engineering Department, Jeel College of Engineering and Research Pune. In a previous video lecture, we have learned the Shaw circuit ratio of a synchronous machine. And uh, their ranges for the cylindrical rotor machine, salient pole machine, and the synchronous compensators. And uh, its significance. In today's video lecture, we are going to learn the parallel operation of synchronous generator. Now question is, what is the necessity of parallel operation of the synchronous generator? Or a three-phase alternators. Now see here, in actual practice, in a thermal stations or a hydroelectric power stations or generating stations, number of alternators are running in parallel. In order to add or addition of one or more alternator or deletion of switching off one or two alternator doesn't make any difference on the infinite bus. Now here, what are the advantages? Why to go for the parallel operation of the alternators? See, the machine which is to be connected parallel to the machine which is already running, running or synchronized to the bus bar is known as incoming machine. Now in order to meet the increase in load demand, we have to add the new alternator in parallel. We have to connect the new alternator in parallel. We can say it is committed, means connected to the system. And if it is disconnected, we can say it is decommitted. And another factor is that in order to get the continuous and reliable power supply, it would have an economic dispatch because the alternators which are, which are having higher efficiencies can be run throughout the, uh, can be run as a base load. And uh, during the peak load hours, if the alternators are not available and which uh, the alternators having lower efficiency that can be committed. That, pe that can be committed means connecting to the system. Spinning, it also increases the spinning reserve capacity. We can say it is a unit commitment and decommitment and that will be the efficient utilization of the units in the generating stations. Now what are the pa conditions for a successful parallel operation of the alternators? The first condition is the terminal voltage of incoming machine. Incoming machine means the machine which is to be connected to the system, which is to be connected in parallel to the earlier machines which are running to the power system, should be same as that of the bus bar voltage. So terminal voltage of the incoming machine should be same as that of the bus bar voltage. Then the phase sequence of incoming machine should be same as that of the bus bar phase sequence and frequency of incoming machine should be same as that of the bus bar frequency. Now how to get this first condition? You can measure what is the terminal uh, bus bar voltage and what is the terminal voltage of the alternator when it is running. Okay. Then frequency. What is the bus bar frequency and what is the frequency of the incoming machines when it is rotated, when it is operated? We can measure by using the, uh, you can measure the speed or by using the frequency meters. Then the phase sequence. We have to connect the incoming machine to the bus bar with the proper same phase sequence. Otherwise, there will be a chances of dead Shaw circuit if there is a wrong connections. Now pay attention. The synchronization of alternator with infinite bus bar by using the lamp method, that is the all dark lamp method or bright lamp method. See, observe carefully, this A1, B1, C1, it is shown as a bus bars and to these bus bars, the three phase loads are connected. Now here, this is the synchronizing switch, synchronizing switch and uh, A1, B1, C1, these are the phases of the bus bar and A2, B2, C2, these are the phases or the terminals of the incoming machine. Now the three, the whole meter is connected to measure the voltage. Now here the three lamps are connected, the lamps are connected symmetrically, that is the uh, A1 of the bus bar, C, to the A1 of the bus bar, A1 of the bus bar to the A2 of the machine. Then the second lamp is connected between B1 of the bus bar to the B2 of the machine. Then the third lamp is connected between C1 of the bus bar to the 
C2 of the machine means they are connected symmetrically and therefore when the machine is synchronized when the machine voltage is equal to the synchronous bus voltage machine frequency is same as that of the uh, bus frequency and their phase sequence are correct all these three lamps will become simultaneously dark and simultaneously bright this based on this flickering of these lamps simultaneously equally bright and equally dark the operator has to synchronize the machine but here is a lot of drawbacks there that depends on the the sense judgment of the operators and therefore instead of this me method the another method one dark and two equally bright lamp method is preferred here also the judgment depends on the operator but however we will learn this method and then we will make the comment on this so uh, what is the how to connect these lamps the l1 lamp is connected symmetrically that is the r of the machine to the r dash symmetrically then l2 is connected as symmetrically that is y to b dash and the l3 is connected between b and y dash that is a symmetrical connections now you can observe here the this is the bus bar this r y b these are the bus bar this machine is already connected or it is already synchronized to the bus bar now this one is incoming machine which is to be connected parallel to the this machine okay so for this incoming machine has say that mls r dash y dash b dash then the lamp l1 is connected symmetrically that is r of the bus or r of the machine which is already connected or which is already running that is r and r dash of the incoming machine then the l2 is connected between y see this is y y and y and b dash of this incoming machine and l3 is connected between b and y dash of the incoming machine so the simple diagram is shown here simple diagram is shown here this is the machine which is already running in parallel or running or which is already synchronized to the bus bar and this is the incoming machine having terminal r dash y dash b dash the lamps are connected l1 is connected symmetrically that is between r and r dash and whereas the l2 is connected asymmetrically that is between y and b dash instead of y dash okay and the l3 is connected between b and y dash okay hope you understood it now the how to proceed say these are the phases of r y b phaser r y b shown by the blue ink r then y and b for the machine which is already synchronized to the uh, bus bar and the terminals r dash the or phaser r dash y dash and b dash shown by the magenta color shown by the magenta color is for the incoming machine now we at this stage say uh, we have started the incoming machine run at a synchronous speed its frequency will be near to bus bar frequency but may not be exact we don't know the voltage we can measure the voltage and incoming machine voltage say it is equal to the bus bar voltage now for the measurement or connection of the lamps we can use the for a larger machine we can use the uh, step down transformer step down transformer say or for example if it is a laboratory experiment of say 400 volt or a 440 volt the lamps are generally rated at a 240 or 250 volt therefore for each phase we have to connect the two lamps in series two lamps in series uh, in order to conduct the experiment on 440 volt machine in the laboratory say the machine is 6.6 kv or a 11 kv machine then in such a cases we have to use the synchroscope or a lamp method but step down transformer the voltage can be reduced to the uh, 400 volt or a less than that okay so say the machine is fast incoming machine is fast then the uh, phasers of magenta color that is incoming machines are running in a counter clockwise direction counter clockwise direction and observe the voltage between r and r dash to which lamp l1 is connected when it is running in a uh, phaser is running in a counter clockwise direction that is the machine is faster then the voltage across lamp l1 is just started increasing and for the lamps pay attention 
see this is the for the fast machine this is l1 and voltage across the l1 is just started from the 0 to it is increasing toward the 25 percent and remember that the lamp does not glow if the voltage across the lamp is less than 25 percent it remains dark so the voltage across l1 is started increasing whereas voltage across the l2 voltage across the l2 see here it is it is voltage across the l2 has reached the maximum and now it is decreasing it has started decreasing which has been reached to the maximum value so it has started decreasing which was earlier 100 percent and now it is started decreasing and what is happening to the voltage across l3 voltage across l3 is increasing is increasing and approaching toward the maximum value is approaching toward the 100 percent value shown here so if you observe carefully the fast say when the machine is fast incoming machine is fast the sequence of the lamp glowing is L2 first because the voltage is large and just now decreasing, uh, uh, decreasing started decreasing but it was earlier 100%. Now the L, L, L3, it is approaching, it is increasing and approaching toward the 100%. In between these two lamps L2 and L3 becomes equal the voltage across them become equal in between this because l3 is approaching it is uh, approaching toward the 100 percent and l2 is decreasing from 100 percent somewhere they become equally bright so the flickering of the lamp glowing of the lamp sequence is l2 l3 l1 because l1 very less voltage is available so the sequence see once again l2 l3 l1 and once again l1 to l2 L3 and L1. So we can write it like this L1, L2, L3. So L, L1 remains dark. L2 and L3, the sequence will be like this when the machine is faster. Okay? And say in case the machine is slower, machine is slower for the slow machine, this magenta color phasers are appears to be rotating in a clockwise direction. Clockwise direction. So you can imagine what will happen to L1, what will happen to L1, the voltage across the L1 will start decreasing because this, this magenta color is approaching toward the R phase, approaching toward the R, so it is decreasing, see here, the voltage across L1 is decreasing, but it, it remains a dark, it will not glow, okay. Then voltage across the L2, voltage across the L2, this one, see, it is going, voltage across the L2 is increasing voltage across the L2 is increasing and tries to approach to the 100 percent. It is increasing and tries to approach the 100 percent. Whereas voltage across the L3, voltage across the L3, see imagine the magenta color, it is flowing, it is rotating in a clockwise direction. So the voltage across L3 is it decreasing, it is decreasing and just now past the 100 percent, just now past the 100 percent and now it is decreasing. Now these two lamps, will be equally bright, the uh, voltage across them will be equal in between this, in between this. So what is the sequence of the lamp glowing? When the incoming machine is lower, the sequence is L3, L2, L1, just opposite to the previous one. And when to synchronize this machine? When L1 is dark and L2 and L3 are equally bright. When L1 and L2 will become equally bright, whether the, it is a slow machine, See, L2 voltage across is increasing and L3 is decreasing. In between this, somewhere, the voltage across L2 and L3 will become equal and they will be equally bright. And at this stage, the operator has to synchronize the machine. The operator has to close the synchronous switch, synchronizing switch, so that the incoming machine will get synchronized to the infinite bus bar. Now, this same thing can be shown by this way. It can be shown either by the uh, triangle method or a straight line. Say, when the incoming machine is faster, the sequence of glowing the lamp is L1, L2 and L3. And when the incoming machine is slower, the sequence of, of switching the, or glowing the lamp is L3, L2 and L1. Same is depicted by this method. And when to synchronize, that is also mentioned. Now, what is the drawback of this method? The drawback is...
the drawback of this method is the synchronization depends on the judgment of the operator and it varies from person to person therefore instead of doing by person synchronization by person we can use the synchroscope we can use the synchroscope now this synchroscope consists of the three coils inductive coils and uh, out of that one is connected to the single phase supply now here it shows whether the machine incoming machine is slower or faster it, it is shown by just reverse way that does not make any difference so this machine a is already connected to the infinite bus bar the machine b is the incoming machine and this one is the synchronizing switch it will be automatically and this will be the hold meter now here simply we have to wait we have to increase or decrease the speed of this and watch here watch here when the pointer is comes to the exactly vertical vertical we can close the synchronizing switch so in this way we have seen the use of synchroscope for the synchronization of the alternator and one dark and two equally bright method so hope you understood it i will stop here thank you thank you very much